Welcome to day 20. This session is called Pilates Bliss because today is dedicated to the joy of movement with creative sequencing and full body integration. For our opening series, we're sitting with the knees folded hips to heels. Start with eight shoulder circles back, lift the shoulders, wrap them back, slowly circling around three, four, five, inhale up and around, exhale through, seven, eight, just reverse your shoulder circles forward eight times. Three, four, getting the shoulders loosened up, slowing down our breathing. Last circle, then take a big arm circle back four times, raise it through the front, overhead, open to circle around. One more time, circle back, pause in the middle, switch to four circles forward. Two, three, four, and one more time, circle back four times. Three, two, one, circle forward. That big shoulder roll we did before this, you continue that motion. We're just adding in the arms. One more circle forward. Take a circle back. We're gonna add in a movement. As you open the arms, start to lift the hips, dive forward into quadruped, lean back, lift the hands off the mat, raise them overhead, circle back. Forward to quadruped. It's a press off the floor, a big circle behind, and a reach forward. You will feel it through the whole back, from the shoulders through the back, through the glutes, as you press back out of quadruped to lift into your seated position. Circle around, follow the momentum forward. Press and lift back. Great warm up move for the whole body. Taking time for the full set here. Getting our coordination. Last time through, hold your quadruped position. Take a little hamstring pull. Just lift one heel towards the sit bone, lower down, other heel to the sit bone and down. 10 more times, back and forth. Adding in hamstrings to our warm up. Four, three, two, one. Lift one foot up halfway and rotate out and in. Away from the body and then towards the other leg. Do this minimizing pelvis movement. It's just the thigh bone, the femur rotating in the hip socket, internal and external rotation. We're adding a wrap around with the upper body now. So you're doing basically just a side bend, looking at the foot as it comes around each side 
doing this without the back moving up and down. We're just going side to side. Let's try the other foot. Start with the leg rotations, internal to external rotations. Then we add our side bend, finding the foot as it rotates from one side to the other. Try your last set. Then place the foot down. Switch to arm focus now. You'll drop down one arm to the elbow, press up, drop the other arm to the elbow, press up. One side to the other, marching it out. Letting the supporting arm bend straight back so the elbow points towards you to support you. For a more challenging version, we can go up, up, down, down. So it's just down to both elbows and then up to both hands, walking it out. I call them elevator planks, up, up, down, down. It's always good to switch lead arms, so you can do that now if you're trying the more advanced variation. Completing our warm-up. Last set, down, down, and up, up. Walk the hands back, pop up to the knees, and find a split knee position. Place your back foot in front, palms pressed together, straight arms, rotate over away from the front leg, then back towards the front leg. Your rotation away will be bigger. That's the open side of the body here. And a smaller rotation over the front leg. Work through any sticky spots. Notice, is there anywhere in this movement that you start to lose balance? Any challenge points? That's where you wanna slow it down. Work through trying to create consistent movement with your rotations. Last one across. Return to center. Pull the hands in and get prepared to stand straight up, lifting the hands overhead and lower down, low to high lunge, down and up, pressing the palms together to help increase core connection. Take these slower if there's wobbles, increase the speed, as you're comfortable, trying for eight to 10 kneeling to stand lunges. Finish in a standing position. Right here, we're gonna tap the back foot in. You can lower the hands out to the sides, then tap back into a regular lunge Arm option is to reach the hands overhead as you lunge back out to the sides as you step up. Trying for eight to 10 of these lunges as well. Both knees to 90 degrees, equal work through both legs. Try two more out. Exhale up and back, step it up. Lower the hands, turn to face forward, take a wide stance, 
for a side lunge, rocking side to side, knees and toes pointed forward. We can add in the arms, take them out to the side to start. Then we'll add a rotation by lowering to one side, rotating over the bent leg and to the other side, passing through the middle with the arms raised up. Just a quick set of eight, three, two, one. Switch to a low lunge across, reaching for the toe, stand up and to the toe and up. Same leg pattern, we're just switching what the upper body's doing, adding in a forward bend, but keeping that hip back for counterbalance as you reach and tap. Last two. Reach down, exhale up. Prepare to shift your body weight over to one side by taking a little plie. Press up, pull one foot in, tap it close, then big step out, side lunge. Tap in and out, holding the side lunge on one side. Eight times. Three more, two, one, exhale up, hold the foot in, raise the same arm as outside leg, add a knee tuck to elbow, slowly tap the elbow to the knee, and you can reach the foot behind to assist your balance as you reach back. Then tuck up, supporting arm can go out to the side for assistance. Tap and lower eight times. One more up and a big reach back. Take it to a curtsy lunge side to side Step out to the side, reach and tap the foot back. Working for an external rotation to help you step side to side and balance as you reach one foot behind. It's just a tap. You don't have to go into a full lunge back. Come back to your middle stance. Returning to your side to side lunges, back and forth. Then we'll add in the twist by lifting up through the middle, rotating over the bent leg. One side to the other, eight times. Five, six, seven, eight, prepare for so the side tap ins. On the other side, little plie, tap in, out to a single side lunge. Raise the arms up, helping you pull it together on the tap in, out to the T to remind you to get into a wide side lunge. One more, reach out, exhale, press up, hold it up here, drop one hand, elbow to knee, tap and reach back, two, three, four, slow it down. Try to get the knee to the elbow each time other hand can come out to the side or wherever you like to hold it to help you with your balance. Two, 
take it to one more set of curtsy lunges to complete this standing series. I didn't forget about our first lunges. We will come back to them. We're gonna transition back down to the floor first by taking yourself from the curtsy lunge down to quadruped. Let's do one more quadruped series. Start with a slow swimming set. Opposite arm and leg, tap up, hold, tap down, pull it in. Instead of just going right out to the kick, give yourself balance points with the toe and the fingers before the lift. This gives you just a tiny fraction of a second to check for that core contraction between each repetition. So you can keep your spine in neutral, no swaying up and down. You wanna lift with the leg, lift with the glute, not with a back arch. Last one, extend one foot out, do four straight leg kicks, lift and tap, two, three, four. Lift and hold, rotate open into a side kick, tap and lift four times, two, three, four. Try to hold the leg up to rotate back to quadruped, tap and lift four times, three, four. Hold it there, open to the side, tap, four, three, two, one. One more time, rotate, keep the foot up, Tap, four, three, two, one. Lift and hold. Open to the side. Tap, four, three, two, one. Lower the foot down. We're transitioning to side plank by pulling the bottom knee in. You can lower to the elbow to take some pressure off the wrist. Hold your side plank of choice, half plank, full plank, kick plank, 30 seconds. Keep your bottom hip lifted. Almost there. Lower yourself down, rotate back to quadruped. We gotta do the other side. Starting with the straight leg, kick and tap. Four times, tap down, four, three, two, one, hold it up, rotate open, tap down, four, three, two, one, stay lifted, rotate back, tap, four, three, two, one, lift and hold, Open to the side, four, three, two, one. Rotate back, last set forward, three, two, one. Rotate open, try to keep that hip pressed 
up, last set of taps, two, one. Transition to side plank by pulling the bottom knee in closer, lowering down to the elbow for one option, adding a kick and hold for your other option. 30 second plank. Lower your foot down, rotate back to quadruped. We're ready to split kneel on the other side now. So you should be facing the other direction. Place one foot up, raise the arms in front, press the palms together, rotate away from the front leg and back over. Slow, small rotations to start, working into bigger rotations, minimizing the movement at the hips. Challenging your balance through the deeper part of the rotations, especially as you rotate away and get farther away from that front leg. Last rotation, prepare to do the kneel to stand. Exhale, press the hands straight up as you stand. Inhale, tuck and lower. Lift two and down three. Four, find your own pace to complete the set, aiming for 10. Actively press through both feet, connect to the abs. Centering and balancing. Lift to press one more time. Tap the back foot in and step back out to your lunge. In and out. Adding an arm wave option. Both knees to 90 degrees, equal effort through both legs. Last time, step out, exhale up, turn to the front. Let's go back to your curtsy lunges, tapping one foot diagonally behind you. Step to the center, to the other side, and center. Each step with purpose. A focused reach behind with the leg as it taps across. We're doing a shorter standing set here. We already completed most of our standing work but I want to get us into one balance challenge sequence. Let's take it to one side. We're splitting into a scale motion. Start with the supporting leg slightly bent. Tip your scale forward, reaching for the floor, lifting the foot. Supporting leg still bent. Lift back to stand. 
Take a plie through the middle, rotate to the other side. Tip your scales, try the leg bent variation first. Lower back, tap the foot, plie through the center. Back to the first side. If you wanna try a straight leg variation, you can straighten the leg as you lean forward and then keep it straight or bend it as you lift back. That's more work for the hamstrings. Follow the rhythm of your body here. Either taking time to hold the balance or focusing on one side, if it's giving you more wobbles on a certain side, you can take some time to work through that side. I'm letting you go four times on each leg. Tip your scale, holding it. Return to stand. One more set. Tip your scale over. Exhale to stand. Plie through the middle, rotate, and tip your scale. Straight line, shoulders, hips, knee, ankle. Exhale, lift, tap the toe, pull the foot in, plie to finish. Let's step to one end of the mat. Cross one foot behind, cross the arms in front, lower yourself down to the floor, swinging the foot around. Roll down to your back, feet to tabletop. We'll start with a set of hundreds for your ab series. Inhale to prepare, exhale, lift, and inhale. Two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, Four, five, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep the knees still. Inhale, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five. Option to straighten the legs out for the second half of the hundred pumps. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, exhale, and finish. Lower your head back down. Extend one leg out. Tuck the other knee in for a stretch. Straighten the leg, kicking the toe to the ceiling. Bend the knee to 90. Tap down. Lift back to tabletop and kick toe to ceiling. This is your deconstructed kick. Adding in quad strengthening, targeted leg work supported by the deep abdominals. Tuck, kick, back to 90 and tap controlling the bend back from the full kick is just as much work as getting into the kick. Two more times. One more, lift the knee, kick the leg, bend to 90 and tap. 
Let's switch sides. You can put the foot down. Extend it all the way out. Hug the other knee in for a quick stretch. From tabletop, you kick the toe to the ceiling. Bend to 90, tap down, lift up, kick, bend, tap, lift. This exercise, it seems like it would be really simple, but it's actually a lot of work to control that movement while the hip is flexed, adding the knee extension. Great for strengthening the muscles that support the knee in a low impact variation. Last repetition, kick to the ceiling, control the bend, tap and lift. Hug it in, single leg stretch, kick it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hug it back in, release to the mat. One more set of eight, curl up and kick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tuck it in. Let's try scissors or single straight leg stretch. Two names for the same move. Kick, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hug it in. Last set, eight more scissors or Single leg stretch, kick, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hug the knees in, place the feet on the floor, raise the arms up, exhale into a small curl, You'll take it around the world, tilt to one side, wrap overhead and around. Big circle eight times. Three, four, working every ab muscle through this exercise. Two more. Lift around, reach overhead, and lift, lower down. Eight bridges. Press up into your bridge, lower down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven eight. Try around the world the other direction. Exhale to lift, tilt to the side, circle the arms overhead and lift through the center. Allowing yourself a small rotation to each side to maximize the oblique engagement Last time all the way around. Lift to the center, lower down to the mat. Eight more bridges, press up and lower down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. 
Let's try a challenge set with bridges. Exhale to press, lift into your bridge, march one foot at a time. Knee comes up, foot goes all the way down, other knee up, foot down. Hold your bridge, keep your glutes activated. Marching slowly, one more set. Lower to the mat. You have the option of doing that same bridge march combo or adding in the full kick. Lifting it, extending to the ceiling, and switching to the other side, just like we practiced on your back. We got warmed up for this exercise. It's eight times. If you're doing the marches, you'll do probably a couple extra marches because we're moving slower with the kicks. Lift, extend, bend, tap, lift, extend, bend, tap. You're ready to be finished. One more. And lower down. Hug the knees in. Exhale to roll yourself up. Let's do rolling like a ball. Scoot up to give yourself space. You roll back, hugging the knees towards the chest. Just to the shoulders and lift back up. Try not to tap the feet to the floor. Finding a balance point. Pausing at the top, rocking back. Add a teaser variation by rolling into a teaser at the top. This, I was surprised at how good this felt doing these rolls because we're completely warmed up the front of those legs. So the extension is there, the strength is there in our quads, our abs, our hip flexors. Roll back, hold the teaser. Roll back, and last one, we're just gonna hold this teaser if you're teasering with me. Tap the toes down. One final time. Stand back up, turn around to face the long way. Inhale, reach the arms overhead, forward bend, folding, flat back, release to the floor. Inhale, draw the body up, peeling one vertebrae at a time. Arms reach overhead, forward dive. We're coming full circle on day one. This is the first exercise we opened with to start your four week challenge. I love coming all the way back right to where we started as a reflection point to see how far you've come. Think about how much you have strengthened your body, restored your body, nourished yourself with movement. One final forward dive, flat back, Reaching away from the body, lowering to the floor for the stretch. Relaxing. Slowly walk your hands out to drop the knees down. 
fold the hips back, extend the arms overhead to child's pose. Stay with me here for this short stretch. Honoring all that you have done to complete this challenge. All together, let's tuck the toes underneath, roll back so we can stand tall. And a big round of applause for you. You did amazing. Thank you for being here. If you completed the challenge, please let me know. I will see you again very soon.